Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Now here on my channel, I will share tips and tricks for persons who are starting their beauty business or if you started your beauty business already but you want tips on how to grow it and how to gain more clients and be more successful. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, finding your niche because people may think that you don't need to find a niche when it comes to cosmetology or beauty therapy or any aspect of the beauty industry as someone coming out of these institutions where you are trained in any aspect of the beauty industry or if you're trained as a cosmetologist so as a cosmetologist you do hair skin and nails so you're a well-rounded person you can do everything but that doesn't mean that when you go out there in business you're gonna do everything all right so not everybody is going to go into a work into a salon um, that they're paid some persons want to go straight from the beauty school and our cosmetology school and go straight into business for themselves and nothing is wrong with that so some persons however uh, would be a bit confused or are a bit confused not know where to start and want to do this but how they do it and all of that so I'm here to share these tips and tricks for you or to let you know what you can do okay now today I want to share on choosing your niche I'm going to be sharing some tips on and tricks on sharing your niche and how to actually steps to steps to actually do this now in every business you always hear oh you need to find a niche you need to find a niche now the beauty industry is no exception yes you do all right and i'm telling you from experience you need to find a niche when i niche down in my business it made such a difference and i started gaining clients now finding your niche with that the first thing you want to do is think about where your interest lies and what your passion is now i've written down a few things so i'm going to be looking up a bit so that i can tell you what they are so the first one what is your interest and your passion now in beauty school if you didn't actually stick to a particular area maybe you just went directly to wax training or facials or other beauty therapy or um, lash extensions or whatever it is so if you went straight to cosmetology school that means you're doing a lot of things um, hairstyling uh, nails and makeup and um, beauty treatments so depending on whatever it is that you're doing maybe you're well-rounded okay you're not going out there in business to do everything because when you just start you're not gonna have boom and you have a full-fledged salon that is just successful it's not gonna happen all right and if it does not not knocking anybody uh, I'm, I'm sure it didn't just fly out the sky all right the fact is chances are that's not gonna happen for you immediately it takes years to build okay so where finding your niche is is is, is concerned you have to think about what it is that you're specifically interested in so after going through cosmetology school and everything that you did what captured you the most what do you have the most talent in what do you have the most passion passion in and the reason why i want you to think about this is because one when you go out there to do this in business you won't be bored you'll always be interested in this particular thing and you're going to want to be the best at it and you already have the talent and skills from it all right from consistently doing it so if you when you think about beauty industry you think about you think about one thing then maybe that is your thing so with that the other step that you have to take is finding out what your customers needs and problems would be so if you're into coloring or if you're into cutting or if you're into natural hairstyling and that's your passion and that's what you want to do then think about who are the customers and what are the problems that you can solve within that niche what are some of the issues that persons have is it that they're unable to style their their daughter's hair is it that they cannot control their um, or tame their 
curly natural hair is it that they want to wear a particular hairstyle but it's hard because their hair is natural or they're chemically relaxed whatever it is all right so if you're picking a particular niche and believe you me there's so many sub niches there's so many little things that's in that that problems that you can solve now one way of finding these problems is going to bring me to the next step which is researching your competition now when i say research i don't mean like oh you're going to be this big marketing company and you're going to um get a lot of software and you're going to have to send out surveys and all of that when i say research i'm simply meaning that you are going to use your eyes and you're just going to look now in your particular niche that you chose look at your competitors in that niche take a look social media is there websites look at their booking pages how is it that they're offering or what is it that they're offering in that niche right and you are going to look at their reviews you're going to look at their customer comments you're going to look at all of these things that's going to tell you if they're getting when they're getting their customers what the customers are saying what's the feedback any issues that they may not be able to fulfill um, with their customers and how is it that they're offering their services and you're gonna think about how you want to offer your service is there any gaps that you can fill where that is concerned so this is how you're gonna um, position yourself to enter this market right enter it by finding a problem that you can solve within this niche now this is going to lead you to answering these questions is going to lead you to the next one which is um, distinguishing yourself among everybody else what makes you different from all the competitors all the persons all the businesses in in that niche what makes you different why would your customers want to come to you okay so when you find out and in that sequence guys in that sequence so when you find out that information is going to help you in to in um knowing how you can put yourself out there uh to start your business and to market your business because you would have already known the people that you want to service the problem that you want to solve so everything when you create your branding and we're going to talk about that in another video when you create your brand it's going to be attracting these persons and it's going to uh, find out. It's going to it's going to let them know that you are able to solve their issues, and you're just gonna attract people like flies, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So after knowing how to distinguish yourself among everybody else, then you are going to be choosing the niche and looking at if evaluating if it's profitable. No. You cannot evaluate if it's profitable if you haven't tried it. So you have to choose it, work with it, stay with it. Remember, it's your passion, so you already know how to do it. You found a, 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 a niche and you, 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 have, you found the problems that you're solving. So people are coming to you and you actually, you actually know how you're going to put your business out there. All right. So... It, where this is concerned you have to do it so you do it and based on the experiences based on the feedback from persons and the person the, the clients that are consistently coming to you right seeing you as an expert in that particular niche because of how you present yourself your brand and your business so with that any feedback from your customers or your clients you can then see if you need to add certain things to your business or take away certain things to your business now even though you have a niche that doesn't mean you can't do other services you can do services that matches your niche right so here you can target other people that will um, end up being sub niches of your major niche all right so this is all the steps or all the tips that I have for you in finding your niche. It's very important to find it if you're starting your beauty business straight out of school, any training that you've done, even if it's lash um, extensions, or, right? So you have to really, you don't just go there, oh, you're offering lashes. 
you're competing with everybody else that's just offering lashes. So how are you going to be different? How are you going to get persons to come to you? Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want more tips or to see what I've, what, what I've um, posted to help you in your business. Thanks again, guys. See you next time.